I will burn down Nigeria, Governor Godwin Obaseki, spit fire over allegation of a murder case. Hmm. Um, I will not say Obaseki is not right in his action. Because, you know, we are talking about a murder case here and, you know, you cannot just allegate someone of killing somebody and um, you expect the person to to keep quiet. Now, if the person keeps quiet, it will look as if the person actually did it. So that is why you see that Obaseki is acting and it's taking action with immediate effects on that okay let's quickly um, check the content and um, let's know what really happened this is today's news according to the daily post governor godwin obaseki is facing impeachment calls from the all progressive congress apc in edo state after his remarks about the murder of Inspector Ako Ono at the Benin City Airport, the APC claims he threatened, if the police do not arrest those responsible, I will burn down Nigeria, viewing these statements as a serious threat. The APC has urged the Edo State House of Assembly to initiate impeachment proceedings. Stating such inflammatory rhetoric is unacceptable, especially with the gubernatorial election approach on September 21st. These demands reflect the intense political rivalry in the state. Obaseki has defended himself with his commissioner stating the APC is misrepresenting the governor's comments. The spokesperson clarified that the governor was expressing concerns about unrest if free and fair elections are not upheld, rather than making threats. This situation highlights the complexities in Nigerian politics as election approach the APC impeachment call emphasized the contentious nature of political discourse and the risk of escalating rhetoric. It is important to monitor reactions from leaders and the implications for governance and security in Edo State. Thank you for listening to today's news. <laughs> hey! No be small thing. Nigerians. Um Governor Obaseki. This guy is now full of guts and confidence. I remembered when he was um uh, when he was, you know, uh struggling to become a governor. You know, how he was seriously fighting then. Then he, the whole thing was like, ah, can I make it? And all of that. They were just you know, pushing him here and there. Ize Yamu was um, almost uh, hitting him down, beating him down, you know. But because he, 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 he doesn't have, he, he doesn't have a very strong backup. He was now looking like um, an abandoned person. But God helped him and um, he succeeded. And now he's now a very strong politician. Now, that's good. I love to see that. But looking at what he is lamenting about Nigerians, I think it's a very big allegation and um, it calls for action. Is 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 something that he doesn't need to keep quiet because if it does, it the whole thing will look like he actually committed it. 
you understand so it's very good he reacts he reacts okay so um let me quickly uh quickly quickly um here on this very matter and then let's know what your take and what your opinions actually is on this matter okay don't forget to leave your comments below the comment section click on the subscription buttons as well as the bell buttons to get updated each time we upload any new videos thank you